and win. All right, well, ever wish you were watching your favorite show or movie with someone other than your partner? Well, a new study finds many Americans actually think that man's best friend is the better companion when it comes to movie night. So some prefer their dogs because they don't interrupt or ask questions. Our Jennifer Williams asked New Yorkers who they'd rather share their screen time with. When it comes to watching TV and movies, many people choose their pups over their partners. Always with my dog, but sometimes I like a company of another person. It's nice after working hard and a day to come home to your dog. According to a new poll commissioned by the dog food company Akana, 43% of the 2,000 surveyed prefer watching a movie with their dog than with another person. We tend to have a very easy relationship with them where all they're really asking of us is for our attention and our love. Andrea Arden is a pet expert and is joined by Willa. They're not gonna be interrupting the show. They're not gonna be asking for a break to go take a potty, you know, or that they might do. Um, but it's just easier. The study found over 40% say dogs don't interrupt or ask questions, and 35% say their dogs are just better cuddlers. I actually prefer to watch with both my dog and my family <laughs> on the couch. It's about like pack time. Um, you know, really everybody snuggled up together, everybody relaxed, um, nothing to worry about, no pressure. Um, and it's a really, really good way to bond with your pets. The most important thing is the unconditional positive regard that we get from our dogs. Dr. Jeff Gardier is a clinical psychologist and is joined by Milo and Mocha. It's a good, you know, way to unwind and, you know, the, to have some escapism. But the other role that dogs play is they also give us exercise. It just goes to show we would do everything with our pets if we could. I prefer to watch with both, <laughs> but she, she doesn't like to discuss the TV shows with me, so that's part of the problem, I think. On the Upper East Side, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.